Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about some deleted scenes from Supergirl Season 3, and there are some big scenes. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So I actually got my Supergirl Season 3 DVD in the post earlier this morning. I posted a few of the biggest and most exciting scenes on my Twitter for the people online who haven't seen it yet so there are a lot of deleted scenes I need to still go through but I'm going to be talking about the main two that I spotted in my sort of hour of scrolling through of different deleted scenes because there are tons of deleted scenes. They were both in the finale so both in episode 23 of season 3, one with Allura and Kara and then one with mon -El. Brainy and Win. So let's quickly talk about the Monel, Brainy and Win deleted scene. Essentially it's what we saw but it's just a few different pieces of dialogue that you may actually notice or you might not notice is actually different. Like at the end of it Monel says what would happen if I don't go back if I don't go back to the future so I'm just paraphrasing there. Essentially it's just like a little bit of different dialogue hinting that Monel definitely has some doubts about going to the future perhaps to save the AIs and once again it backs up the fact of how foolish the sort of writing is behind the reasoning for taking both Wynn and mon -El. All the AIs in the future are going to die. Like, seriously, who cares? So that is one of the standout scenes to me because it was just a nice little dialogue change that they didn't include in the final cut. I don't know if this version of the scene is better or not, but that's up for interpretation. And so moving on to my final one that I want to talk about in this video, maybe I'll do some extra ones if I find any other interesting parts in the deleted scenes from the season 3 DVD and this one is in fact Allura and Kara talking and this one when I posted on Twitter everyone was freaking out because this is like the caramel one that we didn't get to see. We got teased with it earlier in the season when Allura was first revealed as being alive. They said they're going to talk about everything to do with Monel and Kara's relationship troubles and so they didn't include this and I think it's a big shame because this is a great scene. I really do like it. I think they could have cut out quite a few of the other scenes and replaced it with this one. So a little bit upset. A lot of people online were saying very similar things to what I'm saying right now. And so I'm going to explain what happens. Obviously, I'm not going to show it in this because I don't have like an HD quality. I really struggle to actually try and get that HD quality. I had to record it on a webcam. And so we get a little chat between Allura and Kara and in this chat, it moves on from them talking about saving the city from rain and then we look at Allura and she gives a little cheeky smirk and an eye roll as she says is there something else that she wants to talk about and then Kara says Imra this is what we're missing out all the relationship troubles that she wanted to vent out with her mum which I think would have been a great scene to actually include and so Kara explains how Monel left in season 2 how they had to put the lead in the air and then Monel had to leave and then came back with a wife and the shocking nature of that and so she, finally she's given this talk that she has promised us and now we've got the talk that was left unanswered by the end of season 3 and so the big part that everyone's freaking out about is that in that specific scene she goes on to say she felt like all her problems went away and same thing for Monel. and so this specific time that they were on Argo they felt like they could have everything and then she says I could envision us together and this is the line that has everyone freaking out online about and it's just a great line and you can see the true sort of depth of what Kara feels like at the moment and also feels like then she still has a deep affection and she still really loves him she can envision them together at that time but now because Monel has to go to the future you know it's not going to properly work out and Imra is still here and it was just whilst they were on that planet on Argo that she felt like all their problems went away and when they landed back down to earth all the reality hit and so this is probably the most interesting part bar that really nice line is what Allura says and I think this sets up the idea for Caramel and Caramel's return which I really do like and she says not every love story is simple in time the truth always reveals itself so that's a fabulous line and it's true for many love stories in film in television in books in comic books anything like that 
nothing is simple, even in reality. It's not simple, it's not as you see in a rom-com or something like that. And I think the key phrase to actually home in on in this sentence is, in time the truth always reveals itself in regards to not being a simple love story. And that is the fact that this intentionally foreshadows the return of Kara and mon together sometime in the future because not every love story is simple and this line foreshadows that. I'm really excited. Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be doing some more deleted scenes videos I'm sure in the next coming days as I go through the DVD. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.